And good Saturday morning. This is a look at your tropical update as we're looking at a few areas in the tropics right now. This one way out here by Africa has a 20% chance of becoming a depression or a storm over the next few days, but this looks like it'll be pushing off to the west northwest. Not really a concern for the Gulf Coast or the U.S. We got a lot of time to keep an eye on this one. As far as this area, a 50% chance not looking too good for this morning. And once Joaquin starts moving toward it, wind shear will increase. So again, it has an opportunity to develop over the next two or three days, but then after that, it looks like wind shear will increase and the opportunity to develop or get any stronger won't be there once Joaquin approaches that area. Now let's focus in on a Joaquin, still a category three storm, 125 miles per hour this morning. The good news is though, this storm is starting to move away from the Bahamas now. We can look in the upper levels and see what's happening. Two upper level lows that we're looking at right now. This one right here, you can see a spin. That's helping to bring in some drier air around the left side of it for us. But around the right side, we're seeing that moisture pumping in around South Carolina and North Carolina. So flood problems around those areas for this morning. Flash flood warnings around both of those states to start off the day. And then we have another upper level low here, which is kind of helping to steer Joaquin off to the northeast. But notice the rainfall it's forecast through Tuesday above four inches in plenty of spots in South Carolina and North Carolina. So some major problems over in those areas because of that one upper low we saw. And then Joaquin looks to stay well offshore. That's going to be the rainfall from Joaquin. The current forecast cone takes this uh, storm as a category three for the next couple of days. But then as it gets into the cooler waters, it will start to weaken. But you can see that track is now well off the U.S. The only risk really for the, the U.S. East Coast will be increased surf and the increased risk of rip currents as the storm does push off to the northeast. So that's what's going on in the tropics. Nothing too concerning for us here on the Gulf Coast. So that is definitely good news. And that's a look at your tropical update.